Tent City, Nome, Alaska, Gold Miners, Old Dredge. Let's have a hike down and look at it. It's a massive machine. Yes. <coughs> On this dredge, there's new machinery mixed with old machinery. It ran up into the 70s, maybe the 80s, till it just got to be too expensive to keep fixing for the price of gold. Here's a prime example of new machinery and old machinery mixed together. Prime example is this plastic electrical panel here. So anyway, hike on over there, Brady, and do the James Bond with those big ram things. Act like a bad guy's what, running at you. you. No, those big ram things hanging down right there. Over there, you see them? That big ram right there, like the gong pusher. Yeah. Go do the James Bond with that, like a bad guy is coming. I think what it was is to push the pins out. When the buckets came by, I'm not real certain what they had to do with it. Yikes. Now just think if James Bond had caught someone's head in that. He'd probably get up and fight for a few more minutes before he actually died. <laughs> that big buckets, chain of buckets there. Pretty impressive, isn't it? We can hike inside, it might be kind of dark because there's no light for the iPad to take a real good photos. We'll hike around in here a little bit. The old draw works and like there's a new style winch, but obviously that's all old style there. And then here is another prime example, a plastic mine call station from some Caltrek or California company. But then in here you can see how it's all old machinery all mixed together with new machinery when they're trying to keep this big pig running. This one's actually in pretty decent condition to walk through. But here's a prime example of what I'm talking about, old machinery, like this old drill press here. You can just tell by looking at it, it's old. It's ancient. Piece of work, isn't it? It's amazing, yeah. See, that's an old drill press there, and then you hike over here. Look at one thing. You know what it is? Like, look at that old motor there old um, break there, but then it's a brand new piece there. This right here? That's a big break. It breaks that big bowl gear mm -hmm, to stop it, but that's a new component mixed in with old machinery. And then like this here is an old piece of machinery. It looks like some sort of a rev limiter, but then you hike on over here and here's a brand new winch mounted. Brand new is a relative thing, but it's a lot, a lot newer than this. And then we can look up here. A 
Yuba Mine Dredge Company, California. Yuba Mine Dredge, Yuba Manufacturing, San Francisco, California, USA. Look at that big gantry up in there. It's just massive when you're standing in front of it. Big bucket laying on the deck there. Over there are a bunch of boys that showed up, and girls too, showed up to Nome to mine in the summer, summer of 2012. They got their tent city all set up over there. American flag is flying. Doing the American dream, taking care of yourself on your own, not having to rely on the government. Each man for himself. Each man has the right to go out there and mine. Mine in the waters off the coast of Nome in the recreational mining area where there is gold because some of them are doing pretty well. Got to give them credit for trying. The size of that draw works there. Look at the massive amount of steel up in there. Here's another prime example of old machinery mixed with new. There are 60 dredges on the Seward Peninsula in Alaska, 14 or 15 on the road system. Pardon? Which is the, biggest? the biggest one is actually over there in icy view. It's a whole lot bigger than this boy. Yeah, so that's a massive machine there. It makes this one look tiny. What this big unit did is they dropped this down onto the bottom of the pond. These big machines float in their own pond, they dig and fill their own pond, and it held it in position. That's what that did right there. And they're on each side of it. There's another dredge up in Chattanooga that I've gone down into the bowels of it. Pardon? Right there's a hole. Climb down there. I'll, fill, I'll photograph you. I'll make a film of you climbing down. Are you? Can be a star? You can be a star. You can be a star on YouTube. Fine. Are you guys? Are you guys gold mining up here? Yeah. You're from down south. Uh, Seattle. All right. So give me. So give me the full story. You decided to come up to Nome and start yeah, making some money. Uh, we're on a camp trailer in Redmond, and uh, he said. You need some help fixing it. I said, what are you going to do with it? He said, well, I'm going to Zoom. I need a partner. Are you interested? That was it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> First time I met the guy. Living the American dream, making money on your own, not relying on the government. I've never, yeah. never been in Nome. Just uh, decided to go First here. Time. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Russia, but I'm originally from, uh, originally from Russia, but I came from Seattle. All right. Okay. So you're here digging, making the big money, are you? Trying. There ain't trying. No, no big money yet, but trying. Okay, well, you're trying at least. Just trying, yeah. Yeah. All right. So you're not like some of them lowlifes living off the government waiting for them to send them a check. You're up here digging for no gold in yeah. Nome, Alaska, yeah. like the old folks done. Yeah, yeah shower once a day. I mean, well, once, once a, a week. week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> living in tent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Over there in Tent City? Yep, right here. All right, well, you know, it's better than being hungry, taking care of yourself. That's the big thing about being a gnome, being a gold miner. You can take care of yourself. These lowlifes that lay around waiting for the government to send them a check. Ha! There's a whole tent city over there full of boys digging for gold on the beach in Nome. Some are making it, some aren't.